All right, so we got all the framing done. Well, actually, we didn't do it. We were going to do it ourselves, but then we ended up taking it to a guy down in Delaware, American Machine and Tool. Guy's name is Matt Mahoney, very nice guy. Did a very good job here, a very good sturdy frame, a nice, fairly large front deck here. We'll have two big hatches right here, another hatch right here. Then we got a nice big black back floor done here with heavy framing so we can do light 3 8, three eight inch plywood to keep it very light. We have a neat little seat thing to go right here we're gonna do. And then this will all this is a, this will all be deck with a seat box back here, and then we're gonna do a thing over there in the corner that'll be switch panel and some storage and sonar and a cup holder and whatnot. So this will all be nice wide open deck since we're just doing the little seat thing right here, which is right here. It serves as a little seat and it serves as a step to go up onto the front deck and it holds the battery so this way it'll be all nice and open and we'll have a step so doing this little thing avoids the big seat in the middle so we'll just have a big open floor and we'll update you when we get farther along all right so we got the recessed foot pedal all put in here we have the two pieces all hooked together we have the front deck all cut everything seems to be looking good it runs all the way up in here instead of how it used to be it stopped here and then we had water run down in from the trolling motor so now we got a nice big recessed foot tray that Everything's all hooked up, and, this, and then we got the front deck ran all the way back here. It's about six feet long total, and then that is all still open in there for right now. And we also got all the wiring roughed in here, or just about all of it. We have one piece of conduit yet to figure out. Um, this is going to be for the vines for the onboard battery charger to run from battery box to battery box. We're not quite sure where that's getting mounted yet. You look up underneath, obviously we have some wires laying. Uh, that's all gonna get dressed up. It'll be feed from the battery box going up front for the trolling motor. Um, this conduit right here is for transducer cable. It mounts on the back of the boat. That'll be for sonar up in the front. Um, these will be cables for some floor lights. We're gonna have uh, floor lights in four different positions. We did run a heavier conduit here. Um, this is actually for the starter cables for the outboard. That'll come up into the battery seat box um, conduit to make it easier to, if we need to change out the motor or repair, whatever, much easier to move it in and out. Um, over in this far corner here, you'll see there's obviously a whole big mess of wires. Um, that's where the switches are all gonna be in the corner for the feeds for all the different, uh, all the different lights. We did run one extra feed over here um, if we decide we want to hook in a bilge pump not sure if we're going to bother with it but while the floor is open we ran it in also ran one extra feed up to the front if we decide we want it for uh, a live well or um, portable live well hookup if you will just to have another switch power so that's it for now rough in wiring pretty well complete soon be on to the next step all right so we finally got the front deck 100 percent done we have our little step going up. We have our box in on the right side here for rods. We have our two large bins with reinforced hatches with lights inside. We also have our front hatch down to the open bow with a milk crate down in there and we can clip our stern light on the milk crate. Then we have two little LED strip lights that are green. And we have our trolling motor here with the recessed foot tray. And we have our Humberd Helix 5.